do you think companies build in obsolescence to their products? You know, the sort of corner cutting with quality that creates a ready-made aftermarket for replacements and upgrades? I asked this question since I've had to replace two hard drives in the last week. Um, one, this external hard drive that I've used for backup purposes for my PC and Mac. Um, the other being my handy dandy little iPod. Um, both are less than five years old and haven't exactly endured industrial level usage. Um, so I have to say it was a bit annoying um, when I went to my local Apple store and the saleswoman who helped me said, wow, you got four years out of your iPod, that's great. Um, actually it was barely three and a half, but the point is, shouldn't makers of electronics be more embarrassed that their products break down so quickly? Um, Apple sent me um, an after-sale e-survey asking me to rate my in-store experience. Um, all the Apple staff were really professional and chirpy, um, but I told the surveyors that no one would address my questions about quality or intended life cycles or built-in obsolescence. Um, I gave them my phone number and email on this e-survey, um, and more than 72 hours later, I've, I've yet to hear a peep out of anybody. No, no big surprise there. Um, I don't replace other audio and video components every four years. Um, I don't know, do home gaming systems get tossed out that often? Um, I got 15 years out of my last TV. Um, the stereo receiver I use is 18 years old. Do iPods really have to be traded in every three years? I'd love to hear from any of you watching this about that issue and whether you think Apple should be embarrassed about it. Um, I realize this sort of thing is great for Apple's bottom line, but it's very bad for my wallet, not to mention the world's landfills.